And fall in, my fellow guests, to a 3v3 tournament in NTW3 Battle Replay today. We have J we have KVG versus the 10th LR. Now, the teams today consist of Barmbareth, Zengo, and Smithy. On the other team, we have the KVGs, the Mad Skylord, Dada, and Ida Lad. And the map today is Spain 6 B. Now, we'll go through the factions first before us. We have France, 1807 1814. Espana, we have Austria. 1809, which has a nice... Actually, this is their opponents, actually, on the hilltop. Already set up, already firing away here with their 10-pounder, so that's right off the bat there. And France here is nicely bunched up, an ideal target. I don't know how Austria managed to do this, but bloody hell, it definitely suits him. A four... Ba actually, he's got two batteries here. Oh, man, I'm probably saying that wrong. You've got two artilleries here, two 10-pounder units. We have France set up with their measly four pounder in comparison. Oh, just a little bit high. Nice hit there, good hit. The other factions here are Ryben, and his other ally is Denmark. Now, on the other team we have United Kingdom Peninsula, and we have, um, actually Denmark is one of the opponents here, or the blue team. I got that wrong down here. Oh, hang on. Denmark is here. I'm seeing Denmark in two different places. Yeah, hang on. Netherlands, Netherlands. Okay, so we have Austria, United Kingdom Peninsula, and the Netherlands on the other team. Combat has never started so fast in an NTW3 battle in a long time for me. On the map today, we have, looks like three one-pointers in the middle, and two one-pointers to the north and south. So seven points up for grabs today. Right, been moving fast here up the roads. Cavalry out front, as always. Just to sort of scout where the enemy is. Austria has all their troops embedded around the little town here. You know, this is actually not ideal for Austria. Austria's weakness is they don't last long in a prolonged shootout. And the perimeter basically locks them in battle with two opponents here, coming in from two different sides. Now, the blue team's forces can move up fast enough with the infantry. At the same time, France moves up with his. They're essentially double teaming Austria here and they can enable them to take him out much faster. The only saving grace Austria probably has here to hold out until their allies arrive is that 10 pound battery system up top. But if they lose that, then Austria here must run for the hills back to their allies. This 10 pounder is the only thing keeping them in the game. And the only way France can really counter this, and the way he should counter this, is to move all his army here across behind the hill here, behind the buildings, so they can get some protection from that artillery up top. Now to a degree, that artillery might struggle to hit them because of the terrain. They shoot too low. I imagine they'd hit this spot here in the ground. It's got to be a spot on shot to get a direct hit where these French troops are right now. So we've got two units facing off way on the distance here on the other side of the map. Denmark and the United Kingdom. Denmark has some... I don't know how you say that. And we have some large dragoons here. But yeah, if the United Kingdom gets into Denmark, I'm pretty sure Denmark's going to lose that unit. Yeah, we are kidding, just taking out the trash, really, in that one. That's right, I'm sure Denmark could afford to lose that. It was more of a scouting unit than anything else. And you can see here, Robin's moving up pretty quickly. He's walking, but it looks like he's running from a distance. Now, this is actually really good news here for France. I'm not sure why Austria is doing this, but he's putting his units to just before the artillery. That really protects a lot of the French army before them. They really got to keep this area clear here. We're going to get some friendly fire for sure. There you go. I'm sure that Netherlands is coming as fast as he can. He just, he just can't, he just can't see where he is just yet. Unless he runs his infantry, he won't really see them up here. I 
Okay, look, the way it's evolving, the way the battle is evolving right now, Austria probably just needs to move these six units here to the left of his artillery. Move these other units here to the top of the hill. And that brings the 10 pounders back into the equation. And they can probably fire a canister shot, forcing the French back down the hill. And thus, Austria will be able to hold his position until support arrives. That's the way I think he should play this, given the French are advancing on him quite quickly right now. But he's actually lumbered up his artillery. That could be to his own detriment. Looks like Austria is getting hit hard here. The buildings are slowing the Ribbon Cav, which is saving most of his army from it. But he's still being handed by that cavalry. is closing. A friendly cab is in their way. Now Kingdom trying to cover his ally. But the Austrian general nearby, he, don't, he needs to fall back. He's in range there of the French infantry for sure. Denmark is coming in. Now Austria is falling back. I didn't think he had to fall back. Had he moved his infantry out of the way of the artillery and allowed them to fire canister shot in the incoming French troops, I think they would have actually blunted or like sucker punched France in the face, forced them to stop and actually move back in a panic to avoid losing too many more men to those artillery pieces. And now he's in the Pretty much a full-fledged retreat and being shot in the back heavily by French forces. We also got French cab about to harass him now in the rear as well. He might actually lose his artillery even. Hopefully he can get his artillery away, but they need to direct another unit of infantry there just to Running. Chase away that cav. Some chevaliers have come in. The infantry are held there. Good for them. You know, see, Austria is taking the beating from Robin. Robin is hot on his heels. Now, Kingdom also has her own calf here trying to help Austria get away. We got the Cressiers coming in from Austria. They're elite cavalry. This could be a promising counter attack. A lot of the right band trips here can't form square. being shot at a bit here now but they're pressing their attack anyway and the infantry is not moving up to sort of fire into the French infantry relieve the pressure here off their own cavalry okay Robins from the square that's gonna make things a bit complicated for them as well okay Austria still has a lot of calf in play but they've taken a beating France and Ryburn have pretty much thrown Austria off this hill. Fortunately for them, as I said, they still have their artillery in play. That is key for Austria's survival at this point. Denmark is moving up. Their army is nicely clumped up together. If Austria can get a line up with his artillery on that area, it could work in his favour. He could take out a lot of Denmark troops, potentially. Nikim's force, you have to imagine, isn't too far away either. 
In this battle, we still have 48 minutes, so plenty of time to see our winner. France is running. Now, I do this sometimes myself if I'm desperate to sort of get a shot off into a retreating foe. But it does tire out your forces, and if they counterattack quickly against your line that's charging towards them, it can actually really bite you in the ass, and you could lose your entire line. Like, I just, I just battle recently against Johnny and I think a couple of his NTW3 peep mates. And I was chasing after, I think, one of his forces, one of his lines. And um, he turned around after I was coming at him for a little while and just annihilated my forces. I had six units and he picked them apart. And up until then, I had him on the run. But um, I had run my troops, I had exhausted them. And uh, they just couldn't handle the counterattack. So be, be careful when you do that. Be, be very confident that you can actually pull off what you intend to pull off when you run your troops. The pursuit continues. At what point you got to wonder when will Austria turn around because it looks like Denmark is right next to him. I can't imagine he has too far left to, to go until he turns around and fights. And the artillery is here. They got time to set up, turn around and fire. I mean, France here will take an absolute beating from this artillery if he just gets it going. It's in France's interest here not to actually wait, but to pursue and try and get at that artillery before Austria has a chance to use it. Now it's probably too late. And that artillery is going to be in position, but you know, France probably can't stay here. We might have to fall back a little bit. Looks like the Netherlands is moving up. The troop units disappearing because they're not running. Potentially they're going to be firing here at the artillery. Let's have a look. Yep. Took out one member there of the crew. Whoa! Okay, they just knocked them over. They're all going to get back up. These guys fired. Potentially it's some Austrian cavalry. Well, the Austrian infantry here is moving up. Down to 17. Yeah, at this rate you can't imagine that our crew will last too long. He's outgunned and outpowered. Okay, Robin here has suicided charged some grenadiers. Now in the confusion the grenadiers is causing, Robin's hoping to march up his lines, get them, to, get them to a firing position and just unleash hell at close range. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of troops fall there. Pretty much the entire line of this unit at the front fell. In that one volley. Austria's right flank here is exposed. 
Night Kingdom here could help reinforce it and save him, but they've got to move in. They've got to put a lot of pressure here on Raiden. Oh, they managed to fire. Austrian Grenadiers in pike formation behind the line. Can't really do much where they are. Netherlands here has charged up and they're going to take out the artillery crew. Our men are running, sir. Yeah. We've got French cavalry coming in looking to slam into the Netherlands lines. I'm taking out about 30 of them. And there's a lot of cavalry. They're also being backed by some infantry. France trying to move in to get closer. France is running up and down his lines here, He's trying to hit at the weak spots of his enemies. France is bayoneting charge, bayonet charging the lines here of the Netherlands. Alright, Zango just lost his general. I guess England just hit Denmark hard. Oh, here we go. What the? Well, that'd be disappointing. That's better. And I've seen that, I'm just thinking, what? It's like um, Mushu from Mulan. You missed, how could you miss? They were three feet in front of you. I'm sure that's what that player was thinking, seeing that. Denmark here trying to protect their lines, keeping the English cap at bay, at least for the moment. This unit is doing very well. Despite being surrounded and outnumbered. Austria here pushing back. Yeah, France has pretty much lost their left flank. France is still giving them a beating. But they've lost a few troops. They're trying to send a unit to try and take care of that artillery. What's this French unit going to do? Is he going to charge in or is he just going to shoot them? Okay, Austria's going to charge him. Now these guys here, they could form square, well, one of them could form square at least. France sending in their cavalry. Reinforcing Riven. 
Looks like Ryburn's lost a large chunk of his own All force as well. Running. He's still got something that's alive and kicking. Potentially they could charge in and finish off the Austrian general in a couple of units here. Are they going to swing right? Yes, they are. They're coming in. They try to kill the general. But it looks like he might get away. And Austria is actually going to manage to defeat the French units in this area. And a little bit of friendly fire there. And while France's battle with Netherlands over here rages on. The two units here firing into their cab. Our men are running. The Conor Gracht. here not wanting to give an inch Netherlands charging in with their cab trying to force France back France just seems to bring out one cab unit after another it's looking like Netherlands will lose to him That was a siren against the French Lanciers, not good enough. The men of fatigue, sir, must rest a Alright. So Ryben and Denmark trying to face off and finish off the Austrians. The English forces to the left of Ryben's gotta be concerning him a little bit. France is doing fairly well here against the Netherlands. So they should provide some comfort there to Ryben. Ryben is, gen Ryben is trying to finish off Austria and kill the general. England's trying to protect him. Austrian general is so close he's just trying to you know boost the troop morale of his troops keep him in the game. Ryburn's doing okay there against Austria. He's got enough infantry to hold England back at least for a little while. Oh, careful, Ryburn. England's right there. Okay, Netherlands is on the run. He's trying to link up with his teammates. France is in pursuit, trying to cut him off. Now, France does still have cavalry here. He could use his cavalry to intercept those last few units. Some are already breaking as they try to get away. 
cavalry needs to be charged forth to take out these units or they will come back. I think that's what the Lanciers are up to. They're heading this way now. Notice the Austrian forces here are routed. A couple still in the game. Denmark is still over here. They've got a unit. I'm not sure what they're doing. They're potentially walking to claim their two pointers, so they're, they're thinking of lock at this stage. Denmark is next to some points, maybe. I don't know what this unit's up to. I know what this unit could be up to, potentially. This one probably should get in the game. Okay, now they're moving. That's good to see. Now, Ryburn is potentially moving in to help France surround this building and try and cut down all the forces around it. Yeah, small chance there, yeah, not really worth it. Oh, they, got, they, could, they could potentially kill their own general here. Robin, get your general out of there, man. Stop firing, don't fire. Don't fire, don't fight. No, no, don't, 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 no, no, no. Don't do it. Oh, he, he broke his own general. Now these guys here potentially are shooting in the house. We've got Voltigers sniping in, at the troops inside the building. What do we got here? We've got an artillery crew. Nellens here has some six pounders. According to this, three cannons still in the game. Okay, only one of these trips here can form square. Okay, France needs to take out that general and the artillery. They've got a good opportunity here to do so. Will they capitalize? It doesn't look like it. And I can't fathom why. <laughs> he has not dead to rights. They might have the 15th King Hassars here, but the cavalry should be able to handle that, especially with the infantry so close to support them. But he seems too nervous to attack. I mean, here comes the here comes the English Cav anyway. Well, he's bayonet charge in the infantry. Okay, nine there. Still 33. Not bad. But now's the time to charge in. He's got to take out that artillery. The cap has just got to be sacrificed to take out that artillery. I think it's worth it. You can't afford to take any hits from that arty. Oh man, the cab is right there. Alright, let him have it, Austria. He's not going to charge you. There you go, it took out half of them.
English Cav have come in. Retreated because of the French infantry. The crew here is still alive, they're still active. The French army is ignoring the building. Things have really quieted down. Ryburn's morale is not look, looking too great, is it? They're very tired. That unit broke. Alright, guys, we're back. England's charged in their calf. And the English army is in pursuit. Now, they did so to try and catch the French before they can make their way to the two pointer down the southeast. Now, we've got three or four French units here that got away. They do have a good clear line to the two-pointer so we might see those units continue on their march which we do the rest of the French army looks like it's gonna form up and try and take on the remainder of the English and Netherlands forces I'm just trying to keep them at bay for now and do as much damage to them as possible so in the event they do come and try and take those points away from the blue team they won't have the troops to actually pull it off so a lot comes down to this final battle here I think the French have enough here to do some serious damage Maybe win, but obviously got to play it right. Uh, guys, we have some interesting developments. Ryburn here managed to capture this building from the Netherlands, which withdrew to support the English forces as they pursued France. France has lined up, them lined up themselves inside the forest here. The remaining English Netherlands troops seem to march towards them, but now are moving back away from them. England is also pursuing France towards the two pointer. The general's already arrived to check things out, since he's not being shot at or killed. You'd have to assume that there's no one inside. Uh, they've got some enemy troops here, but they've routed. They're broken. We have taken a building, sir. Yep, they busted open the door. No one's inside. So the way it stands right now, blue team is controlling five points out of the potential seven. We've got here some English and Denmark forces here in a race to sort of take that building. We've got the English. Oh, I've got English unit here, some Masarin. The best they can do is probably try to break the Denmark forces. They can just form square though. So potentially the blue team will control all the points on the map. So the blue team shifted their focus, destroying their enemy to actually controlling all the points needed for a lock victory at the end. It was impressive to see Ryburn come back and take that. I will say that. Nicely done. Nelson's here and England trying to move back, maybe try and take that house back, but um, you know, there's still six points behind. But the Austrian general, they're also wandering around trying to figure out what to do. England's just trying to keep Denmark out of their house as best they can. They're not moving to the fire on him, try and break him. Yep, now they can go into the house at their free will. And this battle, guys, is over. He's just trying to kill as many French as he can. No bad charge. Robin's also got some units coming over here now as well.
Grant's warming up, looking to take on England as he comes in. Where's Robin? He's coming. Yeah, shooting you in the back. He's only you know, approaching his own back, but now he can turn around, this unit's broken. And England essentially is being repelled. Okay, let's let Ryburn turn around and counter-attack England as he chased him into the village. He hasn't been able to kill the general's unit yet. And this range is doubtful. The Red Team managed to capture that building again from the French. France has moved out of the forest. England is now shadowing them. For France to just turn around and deal with them. He's got the forces, he easily matches them. England's about finished over here. France has surrounded him in a wide arc. One more volley should do it. Our men are running, sir. A small win there for the English. Come on, how close do you want to get? be so bad now if the French lost this. All they had to do was keep shooting at the English and they would have finished them off. England here has managed to break three out of the original five units that surrounded them before. Decent effort. Okay, England going to face the last of the French units that originally surrounded them. Unbelievable. Our men are running, sir. Holy smokes, he did it. Jeez, France had him. I don't know why he moved in so close. Alright guys, that's it. We're finished. So, we got a victory here for Barbaroness and his allies here, who I believe are part of the 10th LR. So congratulations to them. So Barbaroness there, 2,791 kills. Zengo, 741. And Smithy, 1,323. The Mad Skylord, 1,372. Dada L, 1,961. And Ida Lad, 1,063. So kill counts here range from 267. Three units getting over 200 kills there. One, two being infantry, one cavalry, not bad at all. The rest range from 180 all the way down to zero, belonging to the general and a couple of the infantry units as well that seem to actually not suffer any casualties, so maybe they weren't even in the fight, it would seem. 
And that is that. So, once again, well done to the 10th LR on their victory. Unlucky to KPG. Now, if you guys want to see your own battle replay featured here on this channel, you can send your replay to my email at scoutsofentertainment at gmail.com. You can also post it to me directly on Discord via direct message. You can join my Discord server, Scouts Reconnaissance, and post it there. Or you can simply post your replay to the NTW3 Discord as well. This is Mika from Scouts of Entertainment signing off. Goodbye, my fellow Scout Troopers. Catch you in the next Total War battle.